And then we started our first business, which is a social network for natural hair. It ultimately failed. Uh, we did that for about a year and a half. Of the year and a half we were in business, we sold one ad for $250, um, which is like after we had sunk probably 25000 into the business. In that that we were doing. Yeah, and so the way, that, I can tell you about how that got started. We left school 2013, summer 2013, got married, um, moved into our own place. Kim had a full-time job, and then I had an internship. I didn't get the full-time offer for my internship, so she was the only one working. And at that point in time, she realized that she hated her job, her full-time job. She would come home crying, would be stressed out every single day. And she's like, you know what? I want to do the app business that we had thought about when we were back in school. And I was like, yeah, Kim, let's go for it. You know, what do you need? Like, we need about $25,000 to get it built and get it started because we weren't tech people. And so I was like, well, we, we got to have to save up for that or figure something out. And then that's why I was like, no, you're going to go on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And then he was like, that's ridiculous. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's not a, a linear train of thought by any not, means. Not at all. I, I was like, uh, no, you're nuts. That's not a way to raise money. There's just a lottery. They're not going to pick me. This is a waste of our time. Let's try to like he's the get kind a of loan person. or raise DC. He's the kind of person. That summer, we were watching a lot of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And Tim would answer every single question right. Every oh. single you yeah you ever sat next to somebody who knew the answer to every one of those questions? Yeah, no. for sure. Yeah. So and I was like, okay, you have to go on the show. So I looked up how to apply, and I saw that the tapings were in New York. I like booked him a ticket. Yeah, um, I, I, let me let me be wow. real. I'm not telling the details. I came back home from work one day. I walk in. She, she didn't get a hello. She was like, I booked your ticket to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> I got you the hotel. The tryout is at this time. You're going. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a conversation, it was a commandment. So I like a yes, dear. Uh, uh, just keep rolling. Then he got on the show and he ended up winning $100,000. So really 80 after tax. Wait, so on the show, so when you get to the $100,000, right? So you, did you answer it? And then you got, did you get the phone a friend? What lifeline are you on? Give me a sense okay, of where yeah, you're I'll, at. I'll, I'll yeah, I definitely continue. skipped all of that. Cause it, that was like maybe two months between getting on the show and actually getting the check, so. Yes, yeah, actually, we're skipping out on a pretty crazy detail. So before even getting to know who wants to be a millionaire, we were trying to win pitch competitions with that idea. Okay. Um, and I didn't, we didn't find out we got who wants to be a millionaire until we had lost a pitch competition. We came in fifth place and weren't gonna move on to the finals. Right after we got the news that we had lost the pitch competition, it was at a conference in Houston. Then we were out in the hallway. They was like, what happened? It was like, we just found out we're going to be a home wants to be a millionaire. And they were like, we just lost. Is everything okay? We was like, no, it's cool. It's, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so I got on the show. Uh, I answered the first, I had, out of the first 10 questions or so, I answered eight of them and I used a couple lifelines because my goal really was only to win $25,000. I was playing really conservatively. I was like, oh, Kim wow. just needs $25,000. <laughs> Let me just try to get $25,000. You know, with trivia is really random. You never know if you're gonna know it or not. So right. I'm trying to win $25,000. So within the first four or five questions, I got in the $25,000. I think I was up to 64,000 before I, I used my first lifeline. And so I was like, I was trying to play really, really conservative because I knew that after 10 questions, you get a guaranteed 25K. So my whole goal was to make it through the first 10 questions. After we did that, I started using all the lifelines, just trying to keep going. Um, but I actually walked away at the $250,000 question after getting the $100,000 question correct, because I didn't know it. I can give it to you. Too I, much to it, risk. It haunts Too my dreams. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me what that yeah. question was. It was like the, the main character of The Catcher in the Rye appeared in a magazine, I believe it was Variety Magazine, in an article a year prior to the publishing of the book. What was the name of the article that the character appeared in? And I was like, yeah. And it had all kinds of answers, like, it had like, this, this sandwich, sandwich has, has no mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Which was the correct answer. <laughs> I have no idea. But it was oh, all wow. kind of random yeah, stuff. Of random. How random is that question? Yeah, I have <laughs> no idea. So I was like, no, I didn't, I wish I would have saved one lifeline to skip that one because I think I could have gotten to the million or half a million. But 100,000 was cool because that's uh, outside of 250, that's the one that they give you completely upfront. You just get a check. 
for $100,000. So that was really cool to get like six weeks later and of getting That's a check awesome. in the mail. And then we didn't cash it for like the first two weeks. We were like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've never seen this amount of money. It's gonna bounce. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ABC <laughs> is just gonna bounce a check. Yeah, oh we're two gosh. kids from the south side of Chicago. I had never, never seen that many zeros anywhere um, before. So we, it took us a little while to cash it. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.